Hey everybody, how are you? And this is nothing new. I've done this before. Actually, I've done it probably many times, but I do have new subscribers, so I am going to be doing it again. We're making salt dough. We're making salt dough because I am starting my sweet treats this summer, my faux food, and we are going to make cinnamon rolls, okay? You're going to need all-purpose flour, salt, a measuring cup, a bowl, something to stir it with. And if you're making certain shapes, cookie cutters if you want, I'm not going to need that today. You can go back into some of my videos and to see how I used cookie cutters in the past. So today I'm just going to make the cinnamon rolls. You will also need a rolling pin. Okay? Okay. Everything that I am using today, I do not need special bowls and measuring cups because this is just regular flour and salt. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to get two cups of flour. There's one, a little bit more. One cup of salt. I'm gonna mix this up. Mix it up pretty good until you don't see any more salt standing on its own, all lonely. Now they're together. Look, the salt and the flour together. Everybody's happy. Okay. Now you're going to put in a cup of cold water. And I do this little by little. You're going to kind of look at it like you would pie dough, you know? I also want to tell you, I forgot to show you, you can, for the cinnamon rolls, we're gonna use real cinnamon, okay? And I do use real cinnamon in my faux uh, desserts. Okay, I added two more tablespoons to the dough. And you want that dough, you'll know that it's done because it's not coming off in your hands, okay? Before it was in my hands, I knew that it wasn't enough. And also what you're going to do is you're really going to want to knead this because you want to get that salt and flour really incorporated. You might even put a little bit more because as you work with it, do you see how it's on my fingers? I'm going to put in, only put a little bit at a time, not a lot. And if you make pie crust or do anything with flour, you're going to, you're going to, you'll know. You'll know when it's at the right consistency. Okay, just like you would if you were baking. You're going to put flour down. Okay. We're going to start rolling. Actually, I could cut that in half. That is what I'm going to do. See how it's sticking a little bit? That means I need a little bit more flour. So I'm going to put my other half in this bowl and I'm going to put a damp paper towel over it to keep it moist. You don't want it drying out. So just like that. Okay. All right. So what you're going to do now is come in. Put this dough with my other dough. 
And I think what I'm going to do, all right, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my cinnamon. And guys, I did this with my apple pie. And I'll put a link to my apple pie in the description box below. So what I'm going to do now is I'm just going to come in and I'm going to start rolling it. i got to roll it tighter. Now, if there was yeast in these, obviously they would get bigger. These are not going to get bigger. They're going to stay exactly like they are. And these are going to take probably about three or four days to dry completely. I'm not going to put them in the oven. I'm going to let them air dry. Tell me those don't look like something that you could eat. But what we're going to do is we're going to wait until they're dried and then I'm going to come in and I'll probably paint them a little bit. I could leave them this color if I wanted to, but I will probably no doubt paint them. I think I'm going to do is I'm going to just, I want to put these onto a plate real quick. I'll let them dry on this plate. I'm flattening them a little bit. Okay, so with this next batch, what I'm going to do is I think I'm going to add some of the cinnamon to the actual dough and I'm just going to kind of knead that into it make it smell good instead of using more flour I'm going to come in and put more cinnamon. I get my cinnamon when I'm doing my faux food at the Dollar Tree. I'm not going to pay, you know, for like shillings or that kind of uh, cinnamon for faux food. Is it a different color? I, I really think paint, mixing it into the raw dough, what I mean is before it's dry, I think it would just make it too sticky. This one, what I'm going to do, I'm going to try something a little bit different. I like both colors, actually. I 
And like I said, if these were real and they had yeast, these would get a lot bigger. But here they are, and we're going to let those dry. And like I said, these are going to take a few days. Yeah, they're going to be cute. Those will be really cute at Christmas, won't they? Okay, guys. It's time to paint our cinnamon rolls. Now, when they're this thick and you're making it with bread dough, these are going to take a while to dry, okay? So let me move these over. And what I'm doing now is I want to get the icing all ready. And I'm using Dollar Tree, the caulking from Dollar Tree, some Mod Podge, and white paint. Okay? So I have some of it, of the I have some of the caulking in now. I'm just going to put a little more because I'm going to keep it in this container, which is, I think, airtight. It better be. Okay. Okay. I'd say that was probably about a teaspoonful. And some white acrylic paint. Just a little bit. Don't need a lot because the caulking itself is very white. And so the Mod Podge, it doesn't matter because that's going to dry clear anyway. Let's take one of our popsicle sticks and I want to mix this up really, really good. Because I want this ready to go. If I had a little, um, oh, you know, um, well, like one of these emptied but with a nozzle, that's what I would really like to use where I could kind of squirt. have one. All right, that looks about good. So now I'm going to put the lid. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to kind of mix this cinnamon and this nutmeg brown these two colors I'm going to start out with the lighter and I have cinnamon the real cinnamon remember how we did that but it's no big deal because I can always come in with some more cinnamon later of a real gold color so I don't know I'm going to add a little white to that. And I think I'll take the smallest for it to be my little... And 
I'm not going to do much. I just want to see. And they'll all be a little bit different. So this kind of looks at like what it would look like once it was in the oven and browned uh, compared to this one. And like I say, I don't want it. Let me show you. I don't want it to look that dark. So I'm going to do each one of them like this. Like I said, I'm not, I'm not going over every little single piece of it. I'm just, it's really kind of a hit and miss. Almost like a wash, but not even over the whole thing. Okay. I'm going to come in with the darker one and I'm only going to go around this area with it and I'll probably dilute this as well. I'm trying to put a wash on is you don't want it to look painted right because you want that authenticity right so I'm trying to get the look of what it would look like if they would had been baked in the oven What I'm going to do now is I'm going to take more of this nutmeg brown and a little bit of my burnt umber and a really thin brush and I'm just going to go into this part where you see, you know, where the cinnamon would be and I'm going to just try to go into the crevice. Okay. So I'm going to put it to music and do this.
Okay, so that's what I'm going to do with this. I just put a little bit of burnt, I know what was, a little bit of burnt umber, and that's folk art. Let it drip down a little bit, but now we're going to put, but I think I'm going to put a little bit of cream in this. Although icing is a real white white, I want to tone it down just a little bit. And then I'm just going to drizzle, just like you would if you were making uh, the cinnamon rolls. Okay guys, the icing is on and I have one more cinnamon roll to Mod Podge to seal it. guys you've got to try this you've got everything at home probably to make these all it is is flour salt and water some paint and you don't need to use the caulking you can just use white paint <laughs> 